I already knew. I already, I already knew about all that though. Once um Javante, f- uh, J- uh, Floyd Mayweather's daughter, and that's not even a secret. That's not even like, that's not something I'm exposing. Davis has just revealed the real reason behind his beef with Floyd Mayweather. Things took a turn for the worse on Friday night when Davis threatened to knock out his former mentor. Davis wrote on X in a now deleted post. Now I underscore underscore around and knock Floyd out when I see them and I'll care about going back to jail. He said this in reference to the 90-day jail sentence he received after violating the terms of his home detention for a hit-and-run crash in November 2020. He added, he's such a he doesn't allow his security to carry guns. Davis dedicated a significant stretch of his professional journey to battling under the banner of TB's Mayweather promotions. However, the camaraderie between the two has encountered its fair share of turbulence. Instinct clinched his inaugural world championship title back in 2017 in the latter part of 2022. Davis parted ways with Mayweather promotions following his bout against Rally Romero to chart his own course under the direction of his current advisor Al Hyman at first it appeared like a friendly breakup but later on Pfizer started to appear prior to Davis's final showdown with Ryan Garcia in April 2023 he pointed fingers at Mayweather alleging that Mayweather had barred him from training at the renowned Mayweather gym which had been the cornerstone of his training camps in a since deleted tweet Davis wrote what that flights petty said I couldn't use his gym anymore I don't give a night's not what I heard it's what I know chump However, by the time fight night arrived, they appeared to have reconciled, with Mayweather joyfully cheering on his former protege as he secured a seventh-round victory over King Arwai from the sidelines. However, tensions have resurfaced since then. During a recent video uploaded to his social media channels, Mayweather said a lot of times what these fighters are looking at, they're looking at Floyd. With the cars they're looking at Floyd being flashy, Mayweather mentioned that he had made numerous sacrifices and emphasized that people were observing the outcomes. He stated that even when he was a champion with hundreds of millions in the bank, he continued to work hard in the gym. He noted that many fighters were overly concerned about their attire and appearance, focusing on the wrong aspects, and pointed out that a significant number of them were living paycheck to paycheck. Mayweather added, Man, listen, I made so many sacrifices, y'all are looking at the end results. And when I was champion, having hundreds of millions in the bank, I still was on my grind in that gym. Y'all are worried about your outfits, how your boots look, worried about the wrong things. A lot, lot of you fighters are living check to check. Davis Adam at Mayweather's comments were about him fired back on Instagram has all this bull, but he's in Dubai and can't leave because he's been taking Nick money and not doing what they paid him to do a hater since then. Mayweather and Davis have been at loggerheads on the internet. It appears Tank Davis has D his breaking point with the five division champion accusations were hurled weighty assertions, voice signaling the unraveling of their once turbulent bond on social platforms. Only recently Davis claimed Mayweather WEA was stuck in Dubai due to unpaid bills and interference preventing his departure. Yet a twist emerged when Michael Benson of Topport disclosed Mayweather's Instagram story featuring Shocker Stevenson. Say man, look man, your beef is not with Floyd Mayweather. You sit here beefing with Floyd. It's a fighter out here that's been calling your name that want to fight you. Javante Tank Davis, let's make the fight happen, man. I'm tired of tweeting. I'm tired of talking about it. Stop ducking me and let's make the fight happen, man. Come on. Benson posted a video of Stevenson pleading with Davis to give him the fight. He has been demanding Javanna Tank Davis, let's make the fight happen. Man, I am tired of tweeting. I am tired of talking about it. Stop ducking me and let's make the fight happen. Man said Stevenson after learning about Mayweather's Insta story from a fan. Davis went hog wild. This prompted Davis to retaliate insinuating Mayweather's fear of Stevenson's father responding to the fan Davis wrote. Floyd doesn't like him either he only siding with that kid because he is scared of Jay Prince the father. And the kid is so easy to manipulate. Look how he had them go at young boy with a Rolls umbrella kid looking for fame. Of course things didn't stop there as Davis decided to do a lot more tweeting in a following tweet reacting to an old clip of Stevenson crying after losing an amateur fight. Davis wrote he's such a clout chaser didn't even have no tears down his eyes. Bro, this kid is a whole clown if that wasn't enough. Davis followed that by writing Kid a Tank also said it's always like him talking like they are some type of killer. These people saw you fight bro they hype. However, the question is how did all this start? Why the sudden revival of their beef? Prior to Davis alleging that Mayweather was indebted to individuals in Dubai, Mayweather had voiced his concern in an interview about contemporary fighters squandering their wealth instead of making prudent investments. This remark appears to have irked Davis, who interpreted it as directed towards him. Consequently, Davis made the stuck in Dubai remark in response. Nevertheless, the saga didn't conclude. They're true to his nature. Mayweather he essayed their conflict by posting a video of Davis dancing on his Instagram story. Now you might wonder what's the harm in Davis dancing. Yet it wasn't necessarily the dancing that bothered Davis. 
but rather the accompanying comment alongside the clip Mayweather had written, we always knew he had sugar in his tank amidst a sudden verbal skirmish between Mayweather and Davis. Indications arise that Davis is gearing up to level significant accusations against his once trusted mentor. Meanwhile, the ongoing feud between Davis and Mayweather has attracted attention from various corners, including rapper and entrepreneur 50 Cent, who weighed in on the situation via Instagram, known for his outspoken nature and propensity for getting involved in celebrity conflicts. 50 Cent's comments added another layer of complexity to the already contentious relationship between Davis and Mayweather in his Instagram post. 50 Cent expressed disbelief at the intensity of the feud, indicating that Giovanna Davis's statements were indicative of a genuine rift between him and Mayweather, by suggesting that Davis's remarks were not something he would say lightly. 50 Cent implied that the feud had escalated to a significant degree, perhaps beyond what many observers had initially assumed. He recently posted on Instagram, Oh Noah, this is real, John would know. He say any like that if it wasn't official, me and Sham for beefing. But he is my brother, I got some money if he needs it. Despite his own history of conflicts with Mayweather, 50 Cent acknowledged their underlying bond, referring to Mayweather as Sham and emphasizing their shared history. His offer to provide financial assistance to Mayweather if needed underscored the complex dynamic dynamics at play in their relationship, where camaraderie coexists with competition and tension. Furthermore, 50 Cent's post hinted at a broader narrative surrounding loyalty and support within the world of celebrity and entertainment. Despite their past disagreements and public spats, 50 Cent's willingness to extend a helping hand to Mayweather reflected a sense of solidarity among peers, even in the midst of personal conflicts. Overall, 50 Cent's involvement in the feud between Davis and Mayweather added a new dimension to an already volatile situation, highlighting the interconnectedness of personalities within the realm of sports entertainment and celebrity culture. However, for this is not at 50 Cent known for his boldness in taunting Floyd Mayweather once again engaged in some ribbing in February. This time, he targeted Mayweather for his stance on Diddy's recent sex allegations. Mayweather, who appeared on the Pivot podcast, declined to criticize the bad boy entertainment founder regarding accusations that he four women, including his former girlfriend Cassie Mayweather, expressed that he wouldn't speak negatively about P. Diddy, highlighting that he is still a black man and acknowledging that mistakes can occur in life. He refrained from passing judgment on whether the situation was a mistake or not, emphasizing that it was P. Diddy's personal matter. And I can't say if it is or it's not a mistake, but things happen in life. And P. Diddy business is P. Diddy business. It's not my job or anyone else's job to go on the internet and, and stomp him and kick a man. Mayweather stressed that it was not his responsibility nor anyone else to publicly criticize or attack someone when they are facing difficulties. He stated that his perspective was to not involve himself in this situation, noting that he did not support or condone such behavior. Mayweather also mentioned that even if a similar incident happened to his daughter, he would be upset, but he recognized that it would be her own decision. My take on it is it's not my business, um, I don't think it's right at all, and I don't condone it even if that happened to my daughter, I would be hurt. But um, that's a choice that my daughter made, yeah, so I don't want to kick nobody why while they're down in an Instagram post on February 21st, 50 Cent shared a clip of Mayweather's remarks and took aim at his long-running rival. He said they didn't even ask him about this champ, are you stupid or are you dumb, get me the out of your head, you sound like a hater, did he do it coming soon? 50 Cent spent many years bashing the legendary boxer's reading abilities including in 2014 when he openly challenged Mayweather to read a page out of, of a Harry Potter novel he wrote at the time, Lloyd, will you accept my ASLESL challenge? I will donate $750k to a charity of your choice if you can read a full page out of a Harry Potter book out loud without starting and stopping or up LMAO. The pair previously squashed their beef in 2022. But it appears their relationship has since soured. On the other hand, Ryan Garcia, the American pugilist extraordinaire, asserted that the tension between Jonah Davis and Floyd Mayweather ignited when Davis allegedly engaged in intimate relations with Mayweather's daughter in retaliation. Davis accused Mayweather of withholding earnings from several boxers, 